Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into this, guys. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Capricorn with a clear and concise message from you. All right. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with maybe like a third party situation where this, this went on for a long time. You were always in a creation phase. You never got to actually having a status change. Um, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, engaged, married, or this is, this has what, this has been what's happened in your relationships. Um, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who already has a family. They already have, yeah, they already have a spouse or a, a main person. They have someone. And it seems as if with the moon card, you knew this, but you continue to go along with this. You continue to still, you know, deal with this person in secret. You got some fears that you need to face and you got some shadow work that you need to do. Because it seems like with the advice being the Five of Swords, you put yourself in a losing battle, a losing situation. Defeat, says the Five of Swords. If I can hold the card. Uh, you put yourself in a situation where you weren't going to be chosen. You were not going to win. You were not going to get what you wanted. And it's almost as if you, you kind of subconsciously knew it. You were hoping for the best, but you knew that Maybe the worst could happen here. This could be you or somebody else you're dealing with. It could be a cross watcher. I'm not sure. The outcome is the culmination of this thing, which is the nine of pentacles. There's no real intimacy in your relationships or relationship. It's you functioning alone independently having all that you need being a good catch on paper but you're that what lacks with you is death and substance and stuff substance in your relationships you also could be keeping relationships outside of your home or outside of your just your your heart sector it's all fun and games. It's all sexual or it's carnal. There is no real investment here. Even though you and someone else could feel like you both are soulmates or twin flames or whatever you want to subscribe to. You could be letting someone down easy or trying to, or they could be letting you down easy. Some of you thought that you were building something with a particular person. You thought that your works would not go unrecognized, that you would get the recognition in this relationship that you deserve. But it's just gonna be more independent living independent lifestyle for you which makes you have a level a level of melancholy about the situation where you're kind of in between pitching a whole fit and feeling nothing so it's that space in between being manic and being depressive Pitching a whole fit and, and then doing nothing and feeling nothing. 
because it's like you knew that something wasn't going to work out for you anyway or it, it just wasn't going to work out or it, it just didn't have room to turn out in your favor but but through this all you are maturing or someone is maturing this situation could have matured you in which you have journey and this card talks about learning something new about yourself in the event of in the event of a breakup in the event of being in a relationship learning something new discovering something about yourself and that's why you have work through your fear with the new moon in Scorpio. The Scorpio sign is all about going deep. It's about the occult. It's about emotions. It's about emotional intimacy. So you gotta you gotta dig a little deeper here than just the physicality and the sexual side, the carnal side of life and relationship. This card specifically talks about uh, make an investment because some of you did not make an investment maybe because you were too paranoid that something else was going to happen or you weren't going to get what you wanted you could have even self-sabotaged this with the five of swords something is also asking you to question your motives of why you even want or why you even do or why you even whatever because you still have some shadow work to do. You may be lying to yourself, lying to others about how you feel, what it is you want. But it looks like maybe this new, this full moon coming up on the 24th is going to shed some light for you, or it should. And you need to work through your fears, maybe of commitment, maybe of emotional intimacy. You need to mature emotionally. And there's something that you need to release. Scorpio talks about release too. So you could be dealing with Scorpio. If not, um, definitely need to release something. Because it's getting smaller and smaller. And it is going away. Anyhow. Because there's no real investment in it. So this is the reading that I have for you Capricorn. Um... If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. Pay for your question, receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Capricorn. Many blessings to you. Take care.